So good afternoon. I have um, the co-founders of Get Renter, Auto Shields, and um, Alex. Alex. So um, yeah. Alex, uh, I, I, I have to. Admit, I, I know you didn't say your uh, first name in your surname. I, I don't have your surname. But sorry, just just remind myself and our listeners. Your your surname, Alex, is. Chambry. Uh, oh. Sorry. Chambry. It's Maltese. Ah, oh, okay. So you 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 you're from. Okay, so huge thanks for joining me. So I just wanted to ask you a few questions about Get Renter, and you've already spoken at my Central London Evening Meet, which was really successful in terms of the number of questions you got, particularly focused on HMOs. Although your product is not specifically just for HMOs, but can you let listeners know who may not be able to join you at one of my events where I've got you speaking, for example, coming up next week, uh, next week for those listeners who are listening via video is um, September, September the 15th is next week. So um, for those listeners who can't join us at the uh, live event, which is in central London in the morning on the 15th of September, can you let listeners know a little bit about what Get Rent is, why it differentiates from other property software? Uh, sure. Uh, so with Get Renter, um, we've created something that landlords can use from their mobile phone. So it's a really easy to use interface. We wanted to make something that would make landlords' lives easy, make it easy for them to respond to things wherever they were, sort out issues in a couple of clicks. So what's different about us is we've designed the software to make it extremely easy to use from your mobile phone. It's also free for landlords. and um, We make our money through our partnerships, so people can download it for free. And what it essentially does is it connects the landlords with their tenants over the app so they can share documents, um, uh, have all their correspondence in one place and have all that correspondence and document sharing tracked in an audit trail so that they're always uh, protected should they need to refer back to anything. We also connect them with tradesmen. Um, so we've got a network of about 2,000 tradesmen uh, that are provided by AXA Home Assistance. And... Um, what we've done with that interface is make it really easy for a tenant to raise an issue over the app. The landlord can receive the issue from wherever they are. In a couple of clicks, they can get a quote from one of our tradesmen. And then the tenant can also liaise over the app with the tradesman to sort out the issue. Landlord's kept in the loop and everything is documented in a neat audit trail. So you could be on a golf course and you could have sorted out the issue for the tenant within two minutes. And um, that's kind of... Uh, our premise of what we wanted to do. What we've also done is we've also built regulation into the app itself. So you'll get reminders about gas safety inspections, things like that, so that you don't forget to do them and you can book them really quickly over our app. But what we've also done and what Alex here has created is a really neat um, data tool that pulls all the licensing and regulation information from the whole entire UK into the app. So. Alex can speak a bit more about this than me. Um, he uh, has a bit more of the detail, but we'll essentially use your postcode to keep you updated of legislation, reg regulation changes um, that relate to your prof property specifically that are uh, put out there by your local authority. And that's automatic and it's updated on a daily basis. So landlords can essentially rest easy that they'll be kept uh, in the loop about licensing issues that they need to deal with. Sure. <laughs> So basically, we're going to make it as quickly, quick and easy for a landlord to deal with all their properties on their mobile phone. Sure. So, I mean, some of the regulation HMOs could be like far wide. It could be that side of the street, not the other side of the street. You could miss out number 23 on the road. It's, so we capture all of that information for the whole of the UK and split it down to the postcode. So when you've added your property, we can, if anything changes on your postcode, then we can tell you the, the licensing is this. Or if anything changes on licensing, this is how it affects your postcode. And then that affects which documents you need. Um, you know, if the council updates its website, you know, we keep that up to date as well. So all of that information we do, all the tracking for, and then we're going to add more and more dimensions. So, um, yeah, so tons of stuff. Sure. How did you, Tumi, Ola, and Alex, so 
Um, from what I understand, Ola, you, you were working on the Olympic project, Olympic 2012. Um, you had some disquiet about the rental market, and that's why you created the app, as far as I know. Where did you come in, Alex? Uh, do you want to just explain the little journey? Um, I guess the journey starts with me. Um, yeah. um, I moved to London to work on London 2012. So I, I managed the budget for um, the infrastructure and build um, with the organising committee. And I had a problem in my first year uh, with my landlord and my rental property. And um, it got me thinking about the whole rental experience and how do you make it easy um, for landlords to be good landlords, to be responsive, for them to uh, have a good experience, but create a, an experience in that way that also has mutual benefits for tenants. So if we make it easy for a landlord to be responsive, that, ha that has an instant mutual benefit for the tenant. Um, if it's a bit more of a transparent relationship that you can share things really easily, that's also um, good for the landlord, but also good for the tenant. Anything that saves time and money, I think, benefits both parties. And that's what we're trying to do with this app. So um, I kind of came up with the idea after I worked on the London Olympics. And um, I went into the digital world, uh, worked in a digital agency to learn a bit more about tech and uh, how to implement that. And that's where I met Alex, um, who uh, I told about my idea and asked him, was he interested in exploring this? And um, that was a couple yeah. of years ago now, I guess. Yeah, and it's kind of like one of those things that's like big, big goal and wow, my street. So my, my background, like I've been, I've been a tenant with the same landlady for 13 plus years now. Great relationship, you know, so it's, it's, it's great to know to have that kind of relationship and then everything just becomes a lot easier and the solution is somewhere in the middle of, of that basically. And um, what I did at the agency we met at was all about creative technology. So it could be, the solution could be coming from anywhere and any number of uh, pieces of the puzzle. So Renzo is one of those things that's got so many moving parts. Um, when you actually coordinate everything all in one go, a, a huge solution presents itself that makes it better for everybody. And it, it really does become the snowball effect of, of like positivity for, for, for tenants, for landlords, for, reg for regulation, everything. So, sure. Um, yeah, and then built it. I was going to ask, what, what opportunities are you looking at creating? Uh, I know you're keen or open to speaking uh, i've definitely have you speaking at central london as i say on september the 15th uh it's a morning meet um also have hopefully secured you at some point for wandsworth either this year or early next year um however in terms of uh, and the key thing for me is the huge interest i had when i had you present for me um and hmo interest particularly um but what opportunities are you looking at? maybe speaking or maybe finance are you uh looking for funding or what, what are you looking to grow your team or is that too um, early yeah, we're looking to um no we're always looking to expand and scale so um funding is uh, an option that we're looking at at the moment We've also got a few um, partnerships in the pipeline that I can't talk about just yet, but they're quite exciting for us as well. Um, so um, that goes a long way to expanding the offering that we have, uh, that we will have um, for uh, our users, uh, as well as um, expanding the reach of Renter. And um, one of the other kind of key things that we've done is develop this licensing tool um, that we spoke about earlier. And, we're also launching that as a side product for businesses. So that's uh, another step uh, as well to, to launch that to markets that could use it, estate agents, mortgage brokers. And um, it helps them really easily find out what the licensing requirements are on properties, which is, I guess, a key decision factor when you're a, a property investor. You, you want to know if there's additional or selective licensing on a property. And the quicker you can find that out, the more time you save. Um, our tool helps you do that. And um, that's also quite an important thing for mortgage brokers and um, estate agents to know as well. Um, but I guess with Renter, um, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So if people download our product as it is today, 
we think it's a wonderfully useful and amazing tool. I know you do as well, Brendan. But we hope to expand and grow and add as many useful features as we can. So it's um, uh, we'll continue to innovate in that way to, to make the rental experience better for our users and to make it as easy for them to complete the whole letting life cycle with their tenants uh, in, a, in as easy and as quick and as cheap a way as possible. Ola, I'd love to continue the conversation and I'm sure we will because on the 15th of September we're definitely going to continue that conversation. However, maybe people who can't join us on the 15th of September, so how can they access Get Renter? Uh, what's the best way of connecting with yourself or Get Renter? So they can download it for free themselves. Um, the easiest way to do that is to go to our web page, which is www.getrenter.com. That's G-E-T-R-E-N-T-R.com. Uh, there'll be links there. Um, you can either sign up on the web page or you can download it onto your phone from the web page or just go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and type in Get Renter into uh, the stores. Otherwise, if you want to find out a little bit more about it, you can contact myself or Alex um, over email. My email is just Orla, O R L A, at getrenter.com or Alex, Alex at getrenter.com. So we've covered how to contact you. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Mm. Uh, no, um, just um, we're keen to have people try it out. Um, if you if they have any feedback, good or bad, or any ideas of things they'd like to see in there, please drop us a line. Our contact details are also on the web page. Um, please come to see us at Brendan's uh, Property Meet next Thursday uh, and at Wandsworth um, hopefully sometime soon. Um, we'll be appearing at a few other networking property events uh, in the future as well, so just uh, look out for us. Sure, and you can find Get Renter on Twitter as well, is that correct, Ola? Yeah, so at, at Get Renter. Get Renter. Uh, I just want to say huge thanks, uh, Ola and Alex. Um, so Thank you. Um, we're going to leave it as that for the moment. I'm sure there's lots of questions and come along to the live event or connect uh, via the different platforms. So thanks for the moment. Likewise, thanks, thanks, thanks Brendan. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.